Welcome, this is The Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this uh, portable travel tripod by Nayatoto. I think that's how they pronounce their name. Um, now, they did send me this product for review, but everything I say in this video is my own opinion. We're going to take a closer look at this tripod and how it works, because this thing is, is actually multifunction. It's like a two or three-in-one tripod. You not only get a nice, good, por small, portable tripod, but it also can become a monopod, and that monopod can also become a walking stick if you need to for like hiking and that kind of thing. So it does a lot of different stuff. So let's take a closer look and see what we get in the package and how this thing works. Okay, it does come with its own little carry bag, which is great because it's a travel tripod, right? And it has a little strap that you can adjust to make it uh, bigger. Right now it's kind of more like a hand strap, but you can adjust it so it can become a shoulder sling type of strap to it. And, um, and this thing is actually... It's a heavy duty case. It's not a cheap vinyl piece of garbage that I've seen so many times on tripods. This thing is actually a pretty heavy duty case. It's actually padded inside as well. Um, and we're gonna get a bunch of things. I'm gonna show you what each of these things are here in just a minute. Um, but let's take the whole unit out. Um, you are gonna get instructions, of course. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you more about this anyway. So we'll just set that to the side. And let's get the tripod out so this whole tripod with everything fits in this tiny little case so I'm, I'm gonna tell you here the case is like 17 inches roughly yeah around 17 inches give or take by about four inches by about four 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 and a half five inches that kind of thing pretty small little case um, so you do get that and this is the uh, tripod part. I'm going to show you a lot of the details of that here in just a second. Um, let's take a look at this. You're also going to get a phone mount. Now this here you can um, adjust so you can go uh, vertical or horizontal. Um, this does have a cold shoe built into the top of it, which is super nice. A lot of them don't do that. So if you need to mount a light or something on top of this when you're doing your cell phone stuff. Um, and then you have a um, uh, the tripod screw mount here or you can take this whole thing apart and just use this one and it's a, a spring it's a spring loaded one so it'll adjust for most of your uh cell phones and it's got some rubber grips on there and so forth so that is pretty cool there um you're also going to get this little bag of goodies here um you're going to get an extra foot this is a little foot for the um tripod itself i'll show you more details on the the tripod you're going to get a couple little Allen wrenches with it so you can make adjustments to the tripod if you need to. And you're going to get, this is a, um, the quick release plate, but this is a second one. You actually get a bonus second re quick release plate. So if you need to mount this, uh, have two different cameras going onto one tripod, you can mount each one of these plates on each of the cameras and switch them out very simple very easy because the tripod does have one on there which again i'm going to show you here in just a minute uh, so you do get a second um tripod plate camera plate which is really cool and i was very unexpected you okay, know this is the tripod folded up in the uh carry uh position um and to give you an idea let's let's look at this it looks like it's about Oh, well, it's 16 and a half, say 17 inches. And that's what the uh, the website says. The website says 16 and a half inches is the folded small weight, which they are correct. That is accurate and completely unfolded. And at the highest level as a tripod, it goes up to 68 inches. And on if you use the monopod, the monopod height at the highest, highest is 71 inches for the monopod. A lot of height with that. So let's let's take a closer look here at this. So to unfold all this, all you're gonna have to do is pull this up. Now it does have some resistance on it, which is nice. So your legs are not gonna flip and flop around. Um, so you really have to give it a little bit of a pull. If you heard that clicking, that is this part right here. And what this does is this locks into place. So now this locks into place at like that. If you wanted to go um, a little bit wider on the legs, you can pull it out like that. And again, you kind of have to pull it down, clip it, pull it up like that. So now this could actually go pretty pretty flat. Let me open up the other ones and show you. So now you could have it set like this if you needed to um, for kind of a low profile. So this is pretty much the lowest you can go. You can unscrew this and drop this a little bit um, on there. 
Um, I'll measure that for you here. Uh, 16 and a half inches, <laughs> right about there, is the, um, the, the shortest height you can do as a tripod like this. But I'm gonna show you a little secret of where you can actually get your camera lower to the ground. So that's how these work. That's how the little uh, legs work for the tripod. For the length of this, to raise this up, they just have these little quick release and you pull the little extensions out. Of course, you can do it for all of them and it goes really high. I'll show you the height of it here uh, in just a minute when we get this thing all uh, talked about and checked out here. So uh, lock them in, you can lock them in like that. Again, there's little little set screws in there you can uh, adjust and tighten if you need to. And then this is the foot that can unscrew or screw back in, gives you a nice rubber foothold on your tripod. Now this particular leg is different than the other ones. The other ones, they don't have this um, nice little foam grip and they do not have this little um, uh, ring here because what this is, this is the monopole part. So you're gonna wanna unscrew this like that. And then now this will screw onto the, um, the center pole. Uh, we're gonna take the center pole out and you're gonna attach it to this and that makes your monopole with a nice uh, hand grip on it. Um, so you, that's the, the second kind of piece. So again, uh, tripod or monopod. Or again, you can just use this piece as a, uh, as a uh, walking stick as well, like a hiking pole. Okay, now if you can see this here at the, at the bottom of the pole, there's actually this hook and it's on a spring. So this is used for uh, a, like a weight to weigh this down. So if you wanna put your backpack, your camera pack, or a sandbag, or uh, just a bag of rocks, whatever you wanna do, you can hook it onto here and this will add some stability to your tripod. Again, this is a travel tripod, so it's a little bit lighter weight than um, like a big video tripod kind of thing. Matter of fact, this, this whole um, uh, package, this whole tripod weighs three and a half pounds. Um, it, it's, it's aluminum tubing with some other metal bits to it and some plastic bits to it. So it is a little heavier than some of them because some of them are carbon fiber, which are lighter weight. Um, but this is also very durable as well. So three and a half pounds is not really too bad uh, for that. But that's that's what this part is. And this just unscrews. Um, this part comes undone if to take out the center pole. And then the screw here is the same as the um, as the center as the leg part. And you're, you're going to take the center pole out, just slide it right on out, and, and attach it to there. Um, the other thing you can do though is also take this out and take the center pole out and turn it upside down and that will make the, um, the the head of it down towards the bottom. So I'll show some pictures of it uh, so you can see what I'm talking about to get your camera close to the ground. You can do that with this and still have uh, a good steady tripod features. And for the neck piece, there's actually uh, two sections. So this, this piece you can unscrew and you can drop it down or you can raise it up. And then you can also loosen this one up to get a second bit. So this can go quite a bit. This is how you can get that 68 inches because you can bring this thing out um, a long ways. Um, very nice, very versatile on there. Uh, and then this center pole, let's see, you just screw this down to tighten it up, screw it down to tighten it up. And this has a, um, a little hand hook here, a little hand strap, so you can carry it. Also, if you're using this as a center, as a, a monopod or a walking stick, you can put your hand around there and hold it steady as well. You can take this off if you need to. You can use this on a, a different tripod if you need to, or you can put a different head on here. Uh, this is a standard um, thread for that. Uh, you got your little locking nut on there. Let's take a look at the head part itself. Uh, again, you have your, your rotation, this piece here, you can unlock it. And now you can swivel the ball around and you can go all the way to the side. So if you need to shoot vertically, you can just take this and cock it to the side and shoot vertically for portraits or for you know social media and tickety tockety things and that kind of stuff that you need to film this direction. You can do that. Um, again, you remember, you can also not just put a camera on here, but you can put your cell phone if you do that kind of thing. Um, so this lock here does that. So this knob here has a level on it, so you can uh, make sure that you're level that way. But it also has a level here, so when you're making your adjustments, you can make sure that this is nice and level. And then this is the mounting plate 
all you do is you unscrew this part and this comes right out. Uh, again, remember you're getting two of these, which is super nice to have. Um, and then it just screws right in. Now they make it so it doesn't slide off. There's these little pins, um, these little pins right here that go into there. So it's a nice little safety thing. So if you kind of put it on and, and your, your camera wants to slide a little bit, uh, you're protected until you can also just do and tighten this down. Um, now the, this type of plate is an Arca plate. They call it Arca, Arca Swiss plate, which is pretty standard for a lot of different types of um, tripods and holders and different things like that, even uh, gimbals on there. Um, now the, um, the plate itself, what's nice is it does have a a little screw thing that you need to um, put it on, but it does have a D-ring on it also. So I like this. I, I don't like the tripod plates that you have to have a quarter in your pocket or a screwdriver to use. This here, you can just screw it with your hands because it has this little D-ring kind of thing on it. Uh, and it's got some adjustments, of course, here, so you can slide it up and down depending on how it mounts to your camera. But um, very nice system. I like the way this is set up. Again, you've got uh, easy to put on your camera and you get two of these. So you can mount these on two cameras and switch them out on the tripod if you need to. Very simple, very easy to do. Okay, to show you how easy it is to open up, you can pretty much just clip them all like that, give them a pull and come in and snap them in. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them all up. So here is the um, the tripod with the legs out at the at the um, at the tallest level because if you go out further it'll shrink down and this is at the shortest level for that so you can see where this is but uh, again no worries because you can unscrew this pull it up until it stops unscrew this pull it up till it stops and now it's it's taller than me you can't even see it on the camera because it's so tall um, and it's a it's a couple inches taller than I am. Um, very nice, a lot of height on this portable tripod, wow. And then to close it all up again, you just open up your, your level levers, slide it in, give it a close, super easy. So there you have it, a detailed look at this really nice portable aluminum tripod. If you were looking for a small tripod that you can take with you, carry with you, whether you're, you're hiking or traveling or anything like that, this one, Maybe the right one for you.